So I always say the Liberian Bandingo community. I sometimes say that because you know in Africa we find Mandingos in in Guinea, Senegal, everywhere. And we in Liberia we have our own Mandingos as well, who were there from the from the beginning of Liberia. So as I listen, I even want to cry to see an ethnic group within our country is fighting for recognition. Republic of Liberia, you understand what I say? Before the crew and the Grebo migrated from France, then La Croix d'Ivoire, now, we were already there. So we do need recognition. We are what we are. Mandé Empire. We provided the leadership for the Mandé Empire. The reason why the brother said that I have wealth of knowledge is true. It's true. But unfortunately, all of us do not have the energy to write. But believe me or not, I will cooperate with anyone who you think you can send to me for us to start working on something. I got some literature. I got a lot of things that we all can put together in order to be able to do something for our community and our country. But when you understand that, Nimba, Nimba County, when Nimba became a county, I was on that delegation representing the youths to go and give the petition to parliament so Nimba can be recognized as a county in 1964. You understand? Now the county has become a county. Then that belong to the Merino men of Liberia, Mr. Keita is the chairman. Our organization is diversified. We don't care whether you're from the Crow tribe, you're from uh, the Lama tribe, or the Mandingo tribe. We don't look at that at all. We are all Liberians. And this is how we're supposed to proceed. I'm proud of the gentleman for this book. You know, when the crisis was going on between the indigenous tribes and the American Liberians, D. Wudu Tue stood up. He said, Mr. President, we were talking to Todman. He said, if you know what I know, in that blue field, we put a kino there, we put a palm tree there, we put some symbol that will represent the ethnic groups in Liberia. But I'll tell you one thing. Our people are not strong now to overcome you, but they will fight you with pen and pencil. Now, the brother here is showing this down. He is fighting with the pen and the pencil, trying to bring out the history, how the Bandigos have been there for the beginning of Liberia. So I'm very much proud of him. And I hope he will continue that. And as people read this book, and other books to come, they will be convinced that we are one. We are one. We Liberians but think in that direction. The time has gone now to say, oh, that's my man. Oh, that's full of man. Oh, that's this person. We're supposed to be one. That's why I say, Mr. Mr. Keita, I don't care whether you bring or not, I will be there. Lord, Mr. Moderator, I especially uh, am I on the way you have uh, conducted the program. Thank you so much. Here we came to celebrate Vasiki. And uh, the way I want to put it is that as we celebrate Vasiki, we also celebrate the, I don't like the word Liberian Madingo. Because for me, I'm a dingo. I got nothing to prove to nobody. But I just want to remind you all, please, that 1822 or 1816 to 1822 to 1847, there were only two citizens of Liberia. 
There was the American Liberian and the Madingo people. Anybody who can challenge this claim tonight, let them bring their facts. Let us stop. Let Vasiki lead the trail in trying to prove to anybody, <coughs> irrespective of where they come from. Because I know Detroit was still fighting the Republic of Liberia in 1930s. I know that the central provinces and the eastern provinces and the western provinces of Liberia were still isolated from the Republic of Liberia close to 1964. So in short, it was Madingos that stood firmly. They didn't have a wavering spirit. They stood first started the Republic of Liberia. Those who read it, who read like Vasiki does, I'm sure he will acknowledge what I what I just said. There is this huge conspiracy on the part of all our Liberians to appease us by always referring to us as an ethnicity that has to be included. No, we bringing you all to be included. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We bringing whoever question our identity as Madingos to be included. I'm proud to be a Mano woman's son, but a Madingo man uh, 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 son. And my name, I'm adding <coughs> hide it. Like I said to people, some of the people can hide, but for me, even if I walk in Europe, people will say that man is a Madingo man before they realize I can't even speak Madingo. <laughs> so my in, in short, here tonight, Let's celebrate Vasiki, but set the record straight that you got nothing to prove to anybody. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime somebody is standing in public and say, hey, no, hey, somebody say you Madingo, because that it was my problem with Samuel Doe, because there was an issue as to whether we should, we should be recognized as Liberian. I was Liberian. My father was born 1918. He told me that many of the Liberian people don't even know their own parents' birthday. But my father was born 1918, and he was born in Liberia. 1918, right? 1918. So in short, I got nothing to prove to nobody. On behalf of the African Cultural Alliance, 